Oh, we gotta go check what's her name too. What's her the name? The old lady. See if she uh. We could have just done that from there. Oh, fuck it. Good way to go level up the hunter class. And then, how much money do I have? Have. Oh, I can go get another vocate. Oh, we probably go should have gone and go back. I could have got a gunslinger archetype. It's all good. Let's get the nice dungeon and go back. But I do need more money anyway. But I'd rather get the medic archetype. Watch out! The heal! Something to help you out a little more with the heal. You're gonna do all the front line and shit. Alright, uh. Okay, I'll follow you. Oh, I'm just roaming, to be honest. Well, this is the area that I didn't explore, so this is the one that, this is the dungeon you found. Something big's coming. You see anything? I don't see anything big. You big Jake, sir. That's weird. Don't make any noise that something big coming. His head was on fire. Hit the pig, damn. Find you. What about getting your ass kicked? That's a perfect combo. I slow use that little orb thing. I wonder if that works on bosses too. I doubt it. <laughs> if it does, some of the humanoid bosses, I am down. Or anything weak to electric. True. You having fun reading over there? You having fun reading? That's my other character in the game, is uh, a shock build. Oh, yeah? Yep. Because I'm able to use, you know how the you have hotspot? Yeah. The little fire one? Yeah, they have a thunder one of those too now. Oh, really? They have a thunder one of those, a corrosive one. So, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, what's over here? It's like all the way. I have not been in here yet. So. But if it's what I think it is, yeah, I definitely have not been in here yet. No, oh, speaking of which. This is huge. Uh, Did you upgrade your bow? No. Did you choose not to? Yeah, I want to get the class instead. That's a quick kill. Okay. There's something up to my right. No, I didn't buy the medic pen earlier, so I had to go buy the bag pen and get. No, I got you. How was this? What the hell is this guy doing? Ah! Oh, I got that far. There was, just, there was just a guy hanging out right here in the, in the flower. He was just standing right here, hanging out in the flowers. I can't even get back there. He look like a jester. 
Let's see if we can take this. I don't want to use it yet. Use it. Yeah. Ah. I was using this for now. Doing a veteran run. Good, good. I really think I won since I wonder what the final bosses are like if they can mm -hmm. actually melee or not because there is probably a chance but you have to get a few rolls and there's got to be a chance to actually do a full melee run final boss you cannot melee no well you can ish the first form you I think you can the second form I don't think you can damn There's a chest right here. Alright, um... No, that's so. I feel like we're doing it again. We're doing the right way by us. This does seem a little too convenient to me. Hit it. Like, I never know if that's just like. Would you call that good game design if you go if you make your players go somewhere by accident? Or is that bad game design? Uh, I think it's good. Uh, yeah. All depends on the kind of player, I guess, that you are. Yeah. If, you want, if you're a player who wants to explore everything, it's probably bad. If you're a player that wants to get, run through things quickly, it's really good. Yeah. I'm exploring anything regardless, so I really don't. I can just tell game wise. It's like, uh, I have a feeling that's gonna be the, uh, well, good game design is when you make the obvious, the biggest way obvious at the end. So it's like, if you wanna explore shit, probably turn back now. Or you enter the door. It's like, okay, fair enough. Oh, there's something purple back here. Alright. Ring of the Robust. Check that out a little bit. I'm coming. Here's healing. Oh, there's another big guy right here in front of us. You know, I'm gonna stone mist it. We'll work it. So we start opening things. Why is that fire blue? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a puzzle, John. Oh, I see. Any of them blue on both sides? Like, that's the question. Do they become blue or all white? Well, the only thing I see is that this one's blue and this one's blue. That one's out now. Blue, blue. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Those are all blue. Those are all blue on that side. Let's leave those that way. So we need to try to do this. Okay. I have those two blue. We need this one. I need ammo. Hold on. Hey, it was all blue. Mm, cool. I'm out of ammo now. <laughs> Was it worth it at all? Yeah, I get to fight. you got to fight more. Oh, uh, I think it's blue is the open inside. I guarantee you white's the other side. All right, let's do it. If only I, remember, if only I remembered what it was. How much ammo yeah, do you I have? have? I have tons. All right. No, oh, we'll just do that first. Oh, no, they don't change again. Nope. It looks like you only get to choose one, and then you have to run through it again. Oh, interesting. You know what? That makes sense, though. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Hopefully remember next time. Uh, tab. What is that ring, though? Actually, Reduces it cooldowns, but... Ooh, okay. Um, which one do I not want? I don't do status effects Ooh, right my now. God, there's so... another I haven't seen. Reduces cooldowns of skills by 10%. Increases all oh, damage dealt by 10% 10 10 while gray health is present. Hmm. Um, increases max health by 10 and armor by 15. That's kind of useful. Elemental damage generates 15 additional mod power. Okay. Grants two stacks of bulwark below 50% max health. All stuff. Okay, I should probably put that on, though. I like that. I like the robust one too, the plus 15 armor. That's kind of nice. Increases health regen by 0.25. Uh, the Fey. Okay. Well, I don't really need health regen. That hasn't helped me much. So we'll I feel like you're not wearing any helmet at all. You'd wear. You swear you could even feel the wind in your hair, yet it turns in an arrow, as effective as any steel. Hmm. Okay. Cool. That's good for now. Okay with this. Mm. I'll go up. Wait. What's up for that guy? Oh. Um. Okay. Well, it really upsets me though, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reset again right now. What? The fuck is that? It is that? I don't. Do we want to go in this? Probably not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm okay with the floor and everything before we go in there. With that too. No, we're back in the. What? Okay. So we need to go this way then. Cool with that. At least now I know we can just go back up that way, I guess. Oh, because you opened that door. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, I need, I need to find out. We have pressing business here. Oh, these are people! I believe this beast has come to petition the council. That creature? Fey law does not apply to such as they. You realize we make the laws here, Onoriel? Step up to the podium, petitioner. I, at least, am curious what you have to say. Hail, stranger. I am Savan, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the, well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? <laughs> Neither Fey nor Dran. How very curious. Tell us more about this Earth. Oh, Niall, you waste our time. 
The Fae have more imperative matters that require our attention. Oneril speaks true. Please, Petitioner, briefly state your business before the Council. Your friend is here. Now. Oh, how distressing. Perhaps we can help you find them. Perhaps not. Or have you forgotten the rather large problem yet undealt with starting with what lies beyond this very door? I had not forgotten, Oneril. But as we are at a standstill, I thought to turn our attention to something more refreshing for the time being. Sadly, our resources must be devoted to the troubles at hand, Nael. Petitioner, we will not help you at this time. Good day. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fey have far more important concerns than you before us. M uh, hold a moment, Oneril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The Fey presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As an independent party, you might find clarity where we have failed. Will you help us? Hold. I do not accept. This is a foreigner. Hardly more than a mute beast. The law does not allow such to conduct investigations or judgments on our behalf. Have you ever considered, Oneril, that our job is to make the law? Both arguments are heard and deemed irrelevant. We do not ask them to make judgment, only to aid in an investigation that we have voluntarily foregone. The law supports this. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fae and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Phelin or Feyrin or whatever they call themselves now, Placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course, we all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savant. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step, and a necessary one, toward restoring order among the Fey. Are we still talking to them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do not. This fast does nothing. Peace, Oneril. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me. And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Oneril. You can Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world, so any evidence... We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power, trying to poison our minds. <sighs> we only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listen. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Nael? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one. Indeed, but our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be. Jesus Christ, how much? 
Alas, we do not. There is no blood. No. Not that we were able to investigate. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Ugh. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. And many have... The king has ruled. Some believed he was too much of a... Gut... Mm, more than some. Yet, look at us now. Indeed. Yes. It would seem his life is more... Entwined with our world than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if... Whew. All right. As you will, stranger. That's enough. Because you all just had me keep talking and talking and talking, and that was a whole lot. Let's go behind. Yeah. I gotta go in that door now. All right. Um. Oh. I think we gotta go in that mirror world. Alright. Let's go in that mirror. Let me look at the front quick. Oh, they all have a different symbol. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, yeah, and the reflection. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, that's gonna mean something. They also don't. Ha they also aren't reflected in the in the water. No, uh, it's just on the whatever a little light. But I'm, but I'm saying they aren't at the in the water. Their huh. bodies aren't. That's weird. Oh my God. Did you? All right, John, just please stand right there. Okay, we can walk on this. I thought it was water. Oh, that yeah, was freaking me out. I did too, and then I was standing on it. Oh, okay, if you look, I guarantee you, we go in that, that world, that mirror. We're on the other we side. Slip. Let's go. So yeah, we went the right way by accident. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. You that's about right. But at least it was one giant circle. Yeah, that's, thank God.